meant for great things, Omar. Don't let your destiny down. I won't. I can't. It has to work. There's too much at stake. It has to. Well? Chill out, Omar. I got what I said I would. Now gear up. We've got to be quick if this plan of yours is going to work. Security here is damn sharp, like clockwork, and I doubt it's going to take them time to find some of this stuff out of place. It's going to work, Andres. Foundation personnel, no pushovers, but no system is perfect. With your help, we're going to pull this off. I sure hope you're right. Otherwise, the two of us are going to be lucky if we end up as charms for 682's dinner. Whose dinner? SCP from a different containment facility. I was stationed at before here. It's n never mind. None of your concern right now. You're positive you cut off a chunk of Carson's flesh, right? I got his clothes and badge for you, didn't I? You think I'd be stupid enough to cut off the wrong man's skin after that? I'm just making sure. I've heard using SCP-034 is pretty painful, and I'd prefer to not do this more than once if possible. How'd you get all of this off of him anyways? Ambushed him in the shower. He's to get his clothes that way. That brute's gonna pay for this! Where are my damned clothes? How's this work exactly anyway? If I've heard right, I hold the knife in one hand and place the chunk of flesh against my skin in the other, and then... For the love of God, it actually worked. I'm not sure why you're surprised. There's plenty of weirder things in here. Now come on, we don't have much time before this wears off. All clear on the plan? Crystal, you sure you want me to release him? It's gonna be one hell of a distraction, but... SCP-990 specifically told me this is the only way. Release him, and don't look back. If you say so. You have a game plan to stall him so you can get away and meet at the rendezvous point? This should do the trick. I've seen what he can do in testing. I'm pretty sure he helped me with my getaway. Excellent. This has to work. But I want us both to get out alive. Hey, Omar. Good luck, man. You too, Andres. Card access required. Level 4 security access confirmed. Facial recognition profile required. Here we go. Identity confirmed. Welcome, Researcher Carson.
Good afternoon, Mr. Wilson. How might I be of service today? SCP-662. I really need your help. Please, sir. Call me Mr. Deeds. Um, okay, Mr. Deeds. I'm really hoping you can help me out today. When I open this cell, I need you to hold back this creature long enough for me to get out of this line of destruction. Can you do that for me? It would be my pleasure, Mr. Wilson. However, it's with great regret that I must inform you that I'll be unable to oblige your request with the entity behind that door in question. How do you know if you haven't even seen it yet? I can't explain it, sir. I just know. It's what I do, really. Knowing what I can and can't do. I would be happy to perform the request with the entities and doors on the other side of this one, if that would suffice, sir. No. Thank you, Deeds. I'm afraid it's crucial it be this door. I see. Is there another way in which I might assist you today, sir? Well, if not long enough for me to get away, could you hold it back as long as you can at least? It would be my pleasure, sir. All right, here we go. I thank you for your act of charity, providing me the opportunity to continue my good work. A shame you won't be able to see it in your current state. The pestilence inhabits you both, and as a doctor, it is my duty to correct this atrocity of nature. My work begins now. Attention all Foundation personnel. Threat level red in progress. I repeat, threat level red in progress. We have a breach in containment of SCP-049. This is not a drill. All available units should report to the West Wing to initiate containment protocols. Even if I do avoid the guards, how am I supposed to escape the compound? They run a pretty tight ship up there. No one in, and no one out, unless they have the express permission of the guys running the facility upstairs. Are you familiar with SCP-005? Not at all. It's a simple device. It's a brass key with the capability to open any lock imaginable, no matter the make or function. And it just so happens that little key was transferred to your site recently for safekeeping after an attack on its original site by a rival organization. That should be sufficient for getting you through any additional obstacles you'll encounter on your journey. And how am I supposed to get a key that unlocks any lock? I'm pretty sure a key like that would be under significant lock itself. I'm sure you'll think of something. Good thing I don't need you anymore, Carson. I've got just what I need to get out of here. Breach is suspected to be initiated by a rogue guard among other company. At least one escapes D-Class. Be vigilant for suspicious activity. Secure the breach. Shoot first, ask questions later. When you seek it, when you need it, the assistance will be at your side. Hello, sir. Getting our cardio in today, I see. How might I be of assistance? Stop his pursuits, Deeds! Sir, I must once again inform you that the task at hand is an impossible one that I cannot perform. Just stall him. You can't die. There's no risk for you. But if he catches me, there's no coming back. Understood, sir. somewhere.
You can't hide, my good man. I can smell the pestilence on you from a mile away. And my duty as a doctor will not be complete until I rid you of its clutches for good. Your companion is quite an interesting fellow. I take no joy in killing him again and again. Killing does little to remove the pestilence. No, it is only the first step. Without the surgery, my efforts are futile. But each time, when I turn to face you, his body disappears, leaving my methods a touch... ineffective. I do hope I am able to free you of its grip. Hey, there he is! Get him! Cut this kid! Looks like we get that chance to meet again. Omar, what are you doing here? What's going on outside? We're breaking out of here, Iris, for good. Come on, we don't have much time. I meant what I said in my interview. I have no intention of escaping. I haven't tried because I don't want to. There's nothing left for me outside of these walls. You should just go. Look, I know you've had it bad. You lost everything and everyone important to you, but so have I. That doesn't mean we can't try to start over again. Find something new to go on for. Someone else to share your world with. Look, Omar. No, you look, Iris. This is no life. This is a prison. This is the sign that the end of your story lies within these walls doing what they tell you to do. Well, I don't think that's where your story should end. You need a friend to tell you that you deserve better and have something to live for. Well, damn it, I'm gonna be that friend for you. All right, you win. Lead the way, Mr. D9085. Sure thing. But first, I think you're missing something. See, now, this is the work I do. I have freed these men from the grips of the pestilence they knew not what they fought with, and I can save you, too. Release yourself to me, and rid yourself of this disease. Hello, sir. How might I be of assistance today? Get the crap, thieves. We're in a real bind here. I see no restraints on either of us, sir. No bindings at all. It's important that Omar gets out of here, not us. That's the end game here. I see, Mr. Wilson. And what is it that you propose? We're going to have to bomb some time. You up for it, thieves? Of course, sir. Ready as always. How did you get this? Like, how did you know where to find it? Lucky coincidence. I guess their housing temporary transfers the same storage locker. Oh, well, I've missed it very much. Thank you. Don't mention it. Is something wrong? This is where we were supposed to meet. Andre should have been here by now. The pestilence is endemic in this dreary place. A doctor's work is never done, I'm afraid. What is that? That's our cue to run. You can run, but you cannot escape your salvation. I will liberate you from the grip of the pestilence and free your mind and soul. We need to move fast. What about Andres? Won't you miss your rendezvous point? I'm afraid if SPO 49 was able to reach us first. Andres isn't making it out of here. 
I suppose that means we need to get out of here as quickly as possible then. Soon, yes. We need to lose SP-049 though and make one last stop before leaving. It can't be. What the hell? Omar, this is Abel. Abel? I thought he was held deep underground. How did he get up here? We might be further from the surface than we thought, or maybe your escape plan triggered a chain reaction leading to his escape. I, I don't know. Well, let's get out of here. I mean, he's faster than us, much faster. If he doesn't want us to leave, we're not leaving. Everyone thinks you're just a monster. You cause insurmountable damage and mayhem everywhere you go, but I know there's more to you than that. There's more in that head of yours than all the hate. Go! Come on! There is no need to resist me. I sense none of the pestilence within you. You need not my expertise. Of course, if defend myself I must, to preserve and protect the sanctity of my mission and my work, I will do so. Card access required. Security access confirmed. So, where exactly are we? D class file storage room. One of them, anyway. And we're looking for your file? There's so much they haven't told me, Iris. So much I can't remember. If you want to track down my old life, I at least need a place to start. Your real name is Usman Marshall? Why would they hide something so mundane? I assume it has something to do with Amos, who he is and why they didn't want me to know I share his name. All right, let's go. Thank you, Researcher Carson. So where to now? Well, if Marshall's the key to figuring this out, I guess here's a good place to start.
What's the status on the recontainment efforts? SCP-049 was retained and returned to his holding cell. Though he sustained significant damage from his encounter with SCP-076, he insists he'll be okay. And Abel? He caused a fair deal of destruction, but we were able to gun him down and restart the cycle to imprison him. That's good. And what of the other SCPs in D-Class? The majority of the D-Class were terminated at the beginning of the crisis as per protocol, to prevent a widespread jailbreak. We sustained heavy casualties, primarily guards, though Researcher Carson was found dead and significantly maimed in the showers in Sector 4. We are currently unsure what caused this to occur. All SCPs have been accounted for, aside from SCP-105. Security feed shows her escaping the facility with a D-Class. Usman. I'll put together a task force immediately to retrieve SCP-105. Retrieve D-9085 as well. Alive. Sir, hasn't that D-Class proven to be more trouble than he's worth? His blood work came back. Results are exactly as I hypothesized. An antibody to SCP-008. How is this even possible? Not just to SCP-008. There's a lot of abnormalities in that blood work that we think confer other types of immunity and enhancements. Namely, a chemical similar in structure to SCP-500. You don't mean... That his blood may be able to be used as a more potent SCP-500? I really don't know. That remains to be seen. All I know is based on the evidence, the SCP-500 copy failed to work the first time with SCP-008, but his exposure from the previous test apparently provided him with the ability to resist the life-threatening effect, and the effects are even more potent and effective on the second exposure. I know that it's important he be returned. Alive. Understood, sir. I'll get right on it. What are you, Usman? What are we not seeing? <laughs>